Hello everybody, welcome to the sound test room. Today we're going to take a look at setting up the Akai MPD-218 uh, drum pad controller with um, Beatmaker. It's really, really easy and it's very re reliable too. So the MPD-218 uh, was super cheap and I wanted a pad controller that was super basic and I do two other versions in this um, want slightly more control but i didn't want that i just want the pads i did loads of research and everything and and, and all loads of these finger drummers are the good ones you know so it has great great pads so that's good that's good for me so you can see that it's uh, i'll show you how to set this up but i just wanted to uh it's really sensitive I've also MIDI mapped these to some of these, so you can see that when I, I don't know if you can see the macro there for overdrive, um, change when I move these. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to set those up too. You also get, now you get uh, 16 macros, the first eight there and then the second eight there. But the cool thing is here with this, you have three, three like um, banks of, uh, these six macros you actually have 18 uh, knob controllers here by just selecting the different ones now I've only mapped um, the first I don't know first six just to show you that it works okay okay so let's let's do uh, one from completely from scratch okay so we'll just go in here and we'll go new okay and I'll set up a different drum kit as well. So we'll do uh, summer drums because I really like those. And um, okay, so to set this up, though, the Kai recommend that when you're using this with iOS, there's a little note here that you hold down note repeat, which works by the way. Uh, you hold down note repeat and then plug it in, okay? Which is a bit difficult if you're using the dongly type. So I've got this plugged into the the um the powered hub but hey you know you can get someone to help but i did try it without doing that and it seemed to work okay i don't know but uh it, the, the point is it was a piece of cake <laughs> it was dead easy and i've tried this with other things as well so i shall probably do loads of videos with this anyway here's the thing to set this up you can go into settings here like this and then you'll see that uh, it says this is the focus actions editor. This is where you can set up your your stuff for Beatmaker 3, your MIDI controllers. So you can see that uh, the macro control 1 to 6, I set up with uh, these here. But I mean, let and then the pad controls here. Now let's just, first of all, just clear all bindings. Okay, so it'll just say non, 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 and you'll see that. We've got no sound at all now, nothing, nothing. And you also have three banks of pads that you can program as well. So, but you know, you can get into that if you get a 218. Um, right, okay, so easy. This is super easy. All you need to do is tap on like trigger pad one and then, and that's it, done. So there it is bound. Also, let's just clear this again here. The easy way to do this is if you're just doing a line of control is like this. Select auto learn and then just tap each pad in turn. So you can go like this, 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 this. And then this one. And now um, you can stop learning now. Actually, what I've done there is changed some of those because I started tapping. Various ones. So I'll quickly clear that again because I forgot to exit my thing and auto learn. And again, we can just go through. Stop learn. Okay, so now 
that's how easy it is. Now, the cool thing is, okay, so now we've done that, we can go down to our macros here. See where it says macro controls, and you've got macro controls 1, 2, 16, and we can go for macro control 1, 10, and it'll show up there. Macro control 2, 10, macro control 3, 10, and so on and so forth until you've got your what is. Now, the very cool thing is all of these templates, save template, can be saved and recalled at a later date. So we could call this uh, MPD218. Uh, okay, and that will be saved. And you'll see that if we want to recall load a template, I've set up a few different ones there when I was just playing with it to, to for the video, you know. So that's that. Super easy. So we can go back now to our main page. So that's all done. I want to show you something else as well. At the moment, on this particular kit, there's no, except on this one. See, the changes were that the, um, you can change the velocity control for each and every individual pad as well and you do that by there's a little gear icon here at the bottom of the fixed velocity level so you just tap on that and the cool thing is if i was just doing this with this every time i change to a pad like this that will go off and i'll have to select it again sort of thing so like this the good thing about using the controller is i can tap this and then Every time I select a different pad, it just stays there so I can make my... So if I wanted to go, right, it fixed, fixed MIDI velocity is on. Let's turn that off so now I've got some. Velocity control, okay. Well, I'll turn it back on for that. Select snare, same thing. We could turn it off and have... Uh, Brilliant. There you go. Awesome cool beans. Super duper. So that'll do. For that. Okay, so um let's go to our what's uh, the other thing here. We need to add another bank. So let's create a new bank this time and let's go to our banks page here. But we'll let's choose soul keys, okay, low bank, which is a keyboard instrument. Octaves are here. Pads are polyphonic, obviously. And the cool thing about the, these, these controls, if you go into the little keyboard here, and you can choose scales and chords. Let's choose some harmonic major sevens. Or even this. Sorry, uh, we could choose. So you can choose all that stuff and your, your control, you don't need to change any of the actually MIDI mapping settings for for this as soon as you just so when you go in to record a, a, a beat sort of thing or like let's quickly do that now it won't take long will it um let's go to our song view here let's just set up a little loop for bar loop as soon as i touch this the loop will engage anyway we've got it at 90 bpm all that's fine you quantize my quantize is set to um 16 but if you want to do something a bit more you know, you've got to set your quantizing higher, 132nd or 164th. Let's just record, quickly record a loop here. I 
made a mess, mess of it at the end. That's fine. So now I'm still, I can go back into record mode. And without having to stop it or mess around with it, I can start to overlay stuff. And then quickly I could just swap the soul keys. I don't know why it's jumping backwards. Let's get back to my So you can just carry on backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, adding and building without even to have a bother stopping. Now I'm going to do a video on the sessions view as well because that's the scenes view, but this is just about getting the the uh, Akai to work. Anyway. Brilliant. There you go. So that's how you set it up. I think it's awesome. It's super, super, it's nice to use this. And it's it's not massive. It's not cute. There's not millions of controls or menus to dig into. It, I did not need to do, I haven't downloaded any of the uh, software you get with it or anything like that. I've had this set up with Reason Works perfectly. Um, just needed to select it as the controller sort of thing. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. No problems whatsoever. Just... Straight in with using it, everything worked great, which was a joy for me. It was a joy. Uh, like I said, I've tried this with other apps, Gadget, Garage Bar, all sorts of stuff. IMPC Pro 2, worked brilliant with that. Right, okay, guys, thanks for watching. So there you go, that's basically how you set it up. And what I did find as well, before I go with it, is that um, it made recording this stuff, I hadn't really planned anything there, obviously, but... It made recording the beats and things really enjoyable and fast. And the amount of insane control you get with Beatmaker 3 anyway makes everything super, super great. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Consider becoming a patron. I'll put links in the description below for Beatmaker 3 if you haven't already got it, or I guess most people have now. And uh, yeah, cool, cool. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.